work, 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 work. He says I gotta work, 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 work. You see me do my da 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 da. Hey guys, I've actually been at teacher training all day. Then I went and picked up MJ, and so I'm at home really quickly before I head to the school that I work at to work on my room a little bit. And in my teacher tips video, a couple of you asked me to do like a room tour or like more teaching videos. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited to know that some of you are interested in teaching videos. I'm not going to show you my entire room today because I'm still working on it, but I do want to share with you the seating options that I have. This year I'm going to try flexible seating in my classroom and what that is is just different ways and different options for students to use as far as seating arrangements go besides just a seat and a table or a chair and a desk. This year I have chosen a lot of different options and as I was looking at my room the other day I was thinking it might look a little cluttered. I'm used to having just a table that fits four to six students and then chairs around the table but when I first went into my room this year I was shocked and amazed to find out that I had individual desks and that was pretty amazing. I have the privilege of using individual desks in my classroom this year. Not everyone is able to do that. I think like five or six of us are able to use them. We're just kind of trying them out to see if it's something that we want to include in our class or if we still want to have just the tables. But I am a math teacher. I do a lot of small groups and things like that. So I love the fact that I'm able to have individual desks, but I am going to group them together. I'm not just going to have them in columns and rows all the time. And so for my first day setup, I'm not going to have them in columns and rows. I have them in individual desks. I have a partner, so two people placements. And then I have a table that has four people at it. Then I have groups of three. So there's a lot of chaos in my room and I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the arrangement as it is right now that's why I'm not going to show you the entire classroom and how I'm decorating it and all of that honestly I've purchased things to decorate my room with in the past but I didn't really do that this year so my room is going to be like a hodgepodge of mess but it's going to be fun and I want to show you all the different seatings that I have now with flexible seatings the way you're supposed to do it is to let students choose their own seats and if that's a different seat every day that's fine i don't know how i feel about that but i'm going to give it a try and i do have an anchor chart that i created to just show the regulations and how flexible seating is going to look in my classroom after all is said and done if a student cannot choose his or her seat and it's a working seat and they're being productive in that seat I have the final say so. So if I feel like a child is not working appropriately or not using our classroom equipment appropriately, I have the final say and I can move a child to another spot. I do have an option for students to sit on the floor. I do have a really big rug that I used more so when I taught reading and so I found that in the last couple of years I haven't really used it. I decided to cut the rug up. So I cut it into little squares and I put duct tape around the edges to just make it look a little bit neater. And so this is a seating option for students to either kneel on or they can actually sit on the floor if they want to at the desk. I do have the rest of my rug sitting at the front and then they can just sit around with the clipboard or their little offices if that's what they want to do. Another option is these little bouncy ball thingies. I'm kind of apprehensive about using this because I don't want students to kind of hop or bounce on them but they probably will because they're like the exercise balls and I know when I sit on them I kind of want to hop on them so I just have two of those and then I have these crates that I made and I can do a whole tutorial on this if y'all want to see how I made these crates I'll be more than happy to upload and post a video of that for you. And then I purchased these stools at Ikea. I have four at a table. And then I also have two sitting at regular desks, but I did use the bed risers to lift them up a bit. After testing these stools with the bed risers on a taller student, they're still too high. So I just put these stools at a regular desk and I'm just gonna have the bed risers for students to use if they wanna stand up while working. And then of course I have the traditional chairs available as well. I'm hoping that this will go well. I'm pretty sure it will. I teach fifth grade so I know students can handle it as long as I set my guidelines. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video and 
I will definitely post a room tour if I get a chance to. I do want to post a video about open house because I know I was like, oh, my first open house. And so I want to share some things that have made my life easier and hopefully you'll be able to use them as well. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank y'all so much for watching and I hope I helped some of you out. Bye. Work, 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 work. He says I got a work, 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 work.